afternoon uh, from a currently sunny Southampton but to be perfectly honest when I first tried to attempt to make this video earlier today it was uh, horrendous uh, it, it's uh, like uh, autumn here but enough of the weather which is very depressing by the way <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, had a quite entertaining week, really, met the old professor on, uh, well, not really, I don't think you'd like me calling him old, uh, but he is old, uh, met the old professor on, um, Thursday now, and, uh, due to the inclement conditions we sat inside, enjoyed a snuff or two, and, uh, a pint or four, um, yeah, uh, so not a bad week, quite, quite really. Uh, I'm enjoying a little Guinness now. Uh, drinking it, incidentally, out of my um, Coronation, 2nd of June, 1953, beer mug, uh, and I'm drinking Guinness. Uh, in some uh, what of a uh, uh, homage to the handshake between uh, the Queen and uh, Martin McGuinness this week, who would have thought that would have happened? Um, Anyway, um, enough of that. Um, I'm smoking um, some circular navy cut. I haven't uh, opened anything else really. I've got some um, Lancer slices, which is a, a, a kind of um, Virginia. Latakia blend uh, cut into slices, so uh, quite pleasant, rather uh, akin to um, Penzance, really. Um, but if you like your tobacco strong, which I do, to be perfectly honest with you, this old circular navy cut you can't go far wrong. It's um, it's a a a, a, a uh, a slice uh, in the tradition of British Lakeland florals. It's uh, very pleasant, um, quite strong. I'm smoking it in this little uh, Astley's of Germain Street. Uh, I would call that a bulldog. Now I know uh, some of you, particularly in America, who uh, seem to delineate um, Bulldogs in Rhodesia somewhat differently to British pipe makers. Uh, I would say that's a bulldog because of the shape of the bowl, not because of the shape of the shank. But we've got we've been there before, and I don't really want to uh, cause uh, mayhem by digging up uh, um, old um, old debates about what's a bulldog and what's not and all the rest of it. Anyway. It's a nice pipe made by Barry Jones, the master carver of James Upshaw for Astley's. Astley's was, it sadly is no longer open, uh, a shop in German Street in uh, St. James's in London, very posh area of London. Uh, German Street, German Street, sorry, has also has in it Davidoff's at the head of the street and Dunhill's at down the bottom and a number of other very posh shops in between including Bates there, the hat makers, uh, gentlemen's hat makers, uh, a favourite shop of mine, they make great hats. Uh, yeah, so anyway, it's a nice little pipe, and it's also, it's got a Cumberland stem, by the way, uh, my only pipe with a Cumberland stem, I rather like them, they're kind of natty. Um, it's uh, a filter pipe, uh, and I have a filter in it at the moment. I only have a few filter pipes, to be perfectly honest with you, I usually don't smoke them with filters. Uh, I had some filters that were sent me by Edward when he sent me a lovely uh, Polish made pipe uh, a little while ago as a gift and I thought well I'll, I'll give them a whirl uh, to be honest with you filter pipes with or without the filters smoke perfectly well but I thought I'd give it a try with the filter and um, uh, it's not bad it's not bad at all um, to be perfectly honest with you my jaded old palate I can't really tell the uh, the difference so uh, <laughs> Um, I have noticed though that the filters get very, the moisture is trapped there, so you get quite a dry smoke. Um, which 
is certainly to my liking. Um, what other tobacco events are happening this week? Um, I got an order at Snoosin. Um, Ola, I hope I pronounced that right, um, who lives in Thailand. They're uh, friends with James. Uh, you'll probably all know him. Uh, great chap. Uh, he sent me a link for a snooze, uh, online snoozing, but unfortunately they wouldn't se um, sell to the UK. I've always used northerner.com and I bought some Thunder Original, uh, which is quite a strong one. It's got 16 milligrams of nicotine in each little pouch of snooze. Uh, so you get quite a wallop of nicotine. Um, if you compare that to an, a normal, an average cigarette, which is about 0.5 milligrams of nicotine per cigarette, you can see that you, you know, it's quite a hit of nicotine. It certainly, uh, certainly uh, gets you going in the morning. Um, I, I, I tend to use snooze when it's bloody motorbikes. Uh, all these lads with these uh, uh, off-road bikes who have decided it would be great fun to drive them all over the parks here and up and down the roads and of course they 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 don't have much in the way of silences on their exhaust pipes and they're really bloody noisy um yeah so um so enjoying that uh, i usually enjoy it in hot weather uh, i find it uh uh, I don't really smoke too much, only generally in the evenings when it's really warm. But it might as well be autumn here, to be perfectly honest with you. It's that bad, the weather. Um, so I've got all this snooze, but you can freeze it. So it's in the freezer, so it will, it will get, you know, taken up over... A, a, I think you can keep it for about a year or so in the freezer. And about six months in the fridge, um, past its sort of sell-by date, so to speak. Um... Uh, so I've been enjoying that. But yeah, this is a nice little pipe. Uh, uh, I, as I said, I don't have that many filter pipes. Uh, to be honest with you, as I said, I don't really smoke them. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, and uh, my, you know, my thing is I'm quite tight. Uh, and when I say tight, I'm, and to people who don't know that expression, perhaps in America. Uh, I don't want to waste money. Um... So, you know, what some people will throw away, I'll keep and use because I, I don't see the point in um, just uh, conspicuously consuming for the sake of it when you've got perfectly adequate things that uh, are functional. And that's the key word. Um, with pipes, uh, as you don't inhale, uh, I don't see really, um, for, for me personally, because I know a friend of mine, he wouldn't be smoking a pipe if he couldn't if there wasn't the filters he uh, it's made the whole experience much more enjoyable for him um but they're an added cost aren't they uh you know pipe cleaners filters matches you know it all starts adding up uh, and of course the expensive old pipes themselves um so anyway um so uh, a nice little pipe uh, a lovely little shot. Barry Jones is... I love James or Upshaw Pipes. I was very sorry to see that uh, Dunhill... Ma I, see, I don't know whether he's resurfaced, but I'm very sorry to hear that... Because uh, I know he's very... Lots of people enjoyed his videos and, and his, uh, his uh, singular uh, approach to presenting. And um, it's a shame he's gone. Uh, he, he, Dunhill Man UK. I have quite a lot of James Upshaw pipes, and I'm very fond of them, and I'm very fond of James Upshaw uh, pipes. Full stop. And uh, I could be known as James Upshaw Man UK, but uh, uh, this is a, another beauty carved by Barry Jones. I've got a a couple of Astley's free hands, which were done by Barry Jones, which are just wonderful pipes. I think he's a great. Uh, uh, I think a lot of carvers within the kind of um, old traditional brands, Dunhill, James Upshaw, well, I say traditional, of recent years perhaps with James Upshaw and Ashton, but the carver kind of disappears uh, behind the brand, as it were, and 
um, Colin Froome, for example, at Dunhill, who was with Invicta Briars. Um, uh, you know, they, you kind of lose sight of them, and uh, with uh, many sort of Danish uh, pipe carvers, Paul Winslow and so on, they're, they're very much out there. But with uh, the Englishmen, they tend to disappear behind the brand Dunhill or James Upshaw or Shatton or whatever, like you know. So, but anyway, I love my James Upshaw pipes. So I've got about uh, maybe getting on for twenty now, and they're all great smokers, very traditional, uh, and uh, I, I rather like that. So anyway, I, I'm so I, I must also apologise. I haven't really had time this week. I've had so much on to actually catch up with all my comments but I promise that what I'm going to do in future is uh, on the day I do the video I'm just going to start and as it's always a Sunday and a day of rest for me I'll uh, start to uh, reply so anyway enjoying Guinness I went out and took the dog out for a walk old Reg and we popped in to see a friend who's uh, a keen home brewer and I don't mean these sort of dreadful kits he, he makes you know, proper beer, uh, and um, makes a mash and everything. You know, and we were we had a few pints of his, and then walked the way, way home. So it was sort of out for three hours, uh, two of which were on the road, and one of which was enjoying a drink. So I thought I'd have a little Guinness when I got home. So anyway, I hope you all had a great week. Have a great week ahead, and uh, I'll catch up with you all very soon. Cheers. You comfy there, Regis? Been out for quite a long walk today, haven't we? Visited an old friend on the walk, and he gave you some water, and I had a home home brewed American pale ale, which was very nice. Uh, very nice indeed. There we go. Regis reclined. I don't know how he finds that comfortable, but he, he likes to lie on his back. But there we go.